Hi, happy new year. I'm Stephanie and welcome back to Building Your Path to Success. It is New Year's Eve. Everyone's getting ready to party and hopefully you have a few minutes to stop and look at this because this may be the ticket you've been waiting for. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. Happy New Year. 2022 is going to be for you. And if you are returning, welcome back. Man, am I excited. This is going to be real quick because I too want to celebrate for New Year's Eve. If you're new here, I just want to tell you what I do. I like to share lots of information in short periods of time for high school and college students so that they can um, see what they can do to build the more meaningful resume to make them more competitive. I often say your formal education college degree is great, but it really needs to be accompanied by these other opportunities. Now, this opportunity I'm talking about today is not normally what I talk about, but it kind of ties in. I'm going to be talking about the uh, Stowers Institute for Medical Research, and they're accepting applications right now for their research scholars. This is a mentored one year, just one year. It is a post bachelorette research fellowship. That means that you should be graduating May of 2022. And, you know, if you're going to graduate May of 2023, take this in because maybe this will be for you to apply to next year. This is important because the deadline is coming up in February, which is why I'm really rushing to get this out now. So um, they're looking for um, it to increase the number of underrepresented students in fundamental biological research. They're looking to get students. And to go into more biological research, and oftentimes these programs really give you that, um, that piece especially if you didn't have the opportunity to do um, an REU when you were undergrad, which is the opportunity to work eight to 10 weeks in the summer, where you work about 40 hours a week in the lab, mentor one-on-one -on -one with the, uh, whoever's running that lab. With this program, you don't need to have prior um, experience prior lab experience. Now, when they say that, again, they're not talking about you had biology or you had chemistry or you had physics and you had a lab. They mean that 30, 40 hours a week for a period of time where you did research. So if you've missed the REU when you were an uh, undergrad, um, this, you don't need to. This is okay. However, you do have to have a BA or a BS in a STEM field. Yes, that's all my biology students, my chemistry, my engineering, and all the different engineering, mathematics, technology, computer science, you got it. This could be your ticket. You have to really have an interest in pursuing an advanced research degree. This is really based on passion. Now you're saying, no, I got my degree. I worked hard already. What do I need this for? How is this going to benefit me? Ding, ding. They're going to pay you $34,000 a year to train you, to train you. So a lot of times students could go, if you could get into a PhD program, and some places do have direct PhD programs, but they may make you pay for that master's. Some, some won't, but some do. And this really gives you, make you more, makes you more competitive so that you are more competitive, meaning somebody's going to want to give you that scholarship money. You not only get the $34,000 a year, I know it's not a lot, but think about it. You come from undergrad. Some of you had to pick out loans to go live on campus and to go into the classroom. They're training you and paying you. They're also going to give you a relocation housing benefit, $3,400. You may say, oh, that's not a lot. I just told somebody today, when I took my daughter to grad school, I had to pay for that big old U-Haul and, you know, pay the, so she could get stuff in the apartment. It's an expense, $3,400, a laptop. They're giving you a laptop. Travel um, allowance to attend a scientific conference. So while you're there, they want you to spread your wings and go out and attend a conference. They're going to pay for this. This is an opportunity on top of an opportunity. Now you say, well, okay, lady, how do you apply for this? And, um, you know, when does this start? 
This program starts in June of 2022 and it ends in June of 2023, one year. You have to have um, finished your degree before it starts. That means you can't take a summer class. If you take a summer class, you have to apply for the next year, you know, later on. So they have to, um, your degree must be conferred prior to the program start date. There is an application form. And in addition to the application, you will need two letters of recommendations. Mail, and they'll give you the email address. Again, I'm gonna give you all this information. Um, a single PDF file. That means they want you to put all that stuff into one PDF. They were like in that PDF, things that you already know about. Cover letter, your CV or resume. By the time you finish this program, you're gonna have a detailed CV. You will be right on point. Personal statement. And they're gonna tell you about what that needs to be about. Statement of relevant coursework or past research experience. And they give you a blurb of what that needs to look like. So you have a personal statement and a statement of relevant coursework. Statement of career goals and research interests and unofficial college transcripts. So you kind of have three things to write about. But I'm looking at it, it's very easy. You could do it. And they're gonna be paying you. Now, some of you may be saying, hold up. I got to go all the way to Kansas City, Missouri. They could barbecue. You only gonna be there one year. Go there, get what you need and keep it moving. They're training you to let you go out and spread your wings. I will include the information in the link below, in the description below. The link will be in there. Happy New Year. If you like this kind of information, please, please, please support the channel. Like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I'm hoping that before the, uh, Martin Luther King's birthday, to get, not many, 10 more subscribers. Just 10 by Martin Luther King's birthday. If you can help with that, great. Support the channel, support me. Give me um, motivation to continue to research, find this information and share it. Happy New Year. And thank you for listening. And thank you for being a part of the village. Take care.